Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. And I'm Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. You don't have to be a sore loser just because the Vikings can't. All right, in, my, can't. in our opinion, yeah. in our opinion, I'm going to do this job. So Brad, today we're going to talk about dynamic stretching. Yeah, uh, we already did a video on dynamic versus static stretching, and maybe Nancy could even put a little link to that. Uh, do, you know, to tell you why to use one versus the other. Sure. But right here, we're going to show you the top three stretches for dynamic stretching. Let's get to it. Okay then. All yeah. right. Number, Number one. one. Uh, this is to stretch your calf muscles. It's a really good one. Again, you're doing it in a dynamic fashion. You got. So you're going to bend over like this. Get in the pike position. Can you see this, Nancy? Now I'm stretching the lower shoulder. Brad, shoulder. Yeah, this stretch. is the leg that's stretching. Yeah. The foot that's on the ground. You can see the calf muscle here in the Achilles tendon. And I'm going to be going up and down like this. Yeah. A good 10 to 15 times. And yeah, it's stretching. Oh, I can believe it. Got it? No. You got to reverse it to the other one. There's one clarification I wanted to, to bring up, Bob. As, as everyone knows, our videos are for people 40 and over. Right. This is for that people 40 and over who are pretty active. Right. Pretty high level. And probably maybe 40 and over that are going to participate in a softball game or, yeah. you know, a, dy a dynamic sport where you really need a lot of force and right. power. Right. Or you're going to probably do some sprinting. Yeah. This is a, a good one. You can do dynamic stretching with static stretching too. Sure. If you, if you want. What's number two? Oh, number two is the toy soldier. You want to do that one or you call it the German soldier? Or do you want, not want to do that? No, you do it. You did it good last time. For some reason it bothers him, I think. Now, with all these, you want to probably start with short movements, small movements, mm -hmm. and then work up to, to, to larger movements. So I, I'm just actually just going to stretch the hamstring. So you just, you're walking along like this, and after a while you can start to really kick it up. Now, I want to emphasize the only way you Dancer, can... baby. Look at this, Brad. Come on. Bob, I'm trying to get some good technical All information right. in for our viewers. If you're going to do the hamstring stretch, you must have the knee straight. Right. Exactly. You can't be going like this. Right. Yeah. I'm feeling this pull on my hamstring. So. And, and, yeah, definitely start out with the smaller kicks and build up because you don't want to... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why, Bob? Third one. Football out of here. You can do this one, Brad. You can do something for once. Walking yeah. lunges. Oh, yeah. So a walking lunge. Now, this you might need a little something to hold for balance. You might. If you're, you're going to come down and you're going to go down. Don't bump your kneecap on the concrete. Or what the you're trying to do here is you're, you're really going straight down. Yeah. You're trying to not have this knee go too far forward of the foot. So this would not be correct. Right. See how far the knee is forward in front of the foot? Yeah. So here we are. So step out in front of the leg, Bob said straight, straight down. down. Yeah. And you do have to be careful for that knee. If you go down real quick, boom. Right out of the kneecap. It's not fun. Yeah. I've done it. But you're stripping, st uh, stripping. You're stretching your hip flexors and hip extensors here, I would say. Right. right. And a little bit of hamstrings. Yeah, probably. here. And you're doing a warm up. And this, this is. Yeah, this it, is warming things up. Yeah, exactly. I think that you're right. This is activity. And then go the, you know, oh, another step. Yeah, otherwise you, otherwise you go in circles if you don't. Yeah. There we go. Now, you, can even, here. you can even go along and go along the field if you're, you know. Right. That'll it, draw some attention to you. Exactly right. They'll you know. You just tell them we told you to do it and it'll be all right. And then as we promised, we always get three bonus ones. This yeah. is kind of a little surprise here. Uh, leg lifts. Um, I, I, well, here. I'm going to use the chair here. That'll be the best way to do it. This one, like Brad said, you remember, you remember doing this back in the 30s, right? When you were in... It was, in the, it was in the 70s when I was in high school for track. As a matter of fact, in karate we did that in the 80s and the 90s too. Loosen up the hips. I wasn't born then yet, so I don't yeah. know anything about that. Again, you're getting the inside of the thigh, outside of the thigh. Good, good stretch, yeah, stretch for that one. Again, you're right, Brad. I've seen that one for a long time. Uh, butt kicks. Oh, that one? Yeah, the butt kick. i got to be honest with you, Bob. I'm not a big dynamic stretcher, um, just because I don't do, I don't play baseball. All my sports are pretty slow. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, this will get the quadriceps. So you're gonna take your heel and a little bit of the hip flexor too. Your butt. Yeah. Now this one, I would personally do a little bit of a static stretch and then work into it. And you're 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 50 some and older. That's why, Brad, you feel this way. Yeah. I see um, well, younger kids. Um, you know, working this one before basketball. Oh, yeah. Good posture. Yeah. You know, yeah. looks a little funny, maybe. Okay, um, and the last one is the hacky sack. Real simple. 
You, if you've ever played hack a second, I have. Yep, I you believe just it. Touch the heel, touch the heel. I got a dance that I do like that too. It's like we country music, of course. Oh yeah, that's right. The boot scooting something. Well, Probably, yeah, we'll, maybe we'll save that for another video. We do have a video on some dancing that's very healthy. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be cool to see. Yeah, I'm really shocked. So again, these are good dynamic stretches, but I, I do want to stress if, if you're 50, 40 or over and you're not very active and you jump into these, yeah. you should. You need to get uh, built up. You may want to do both, static yeah. and dynamic. And, uh, the rule of thumb for a lot of times is to do dynamic uh, before activities with a warm-up and then uh, stretches, well, sustained uh, static stretches afterwards. But again, if you're getting up to our age, you're probably going to want to do the uh, sustained stretches. Yeah, static. Take it easy, so. be safe, and, and be happy. That's one thing. Oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs>